It is time for our Black Top Conversation, ladies and gentlemen. Black and Top Conversation. Come on now. Don't get my shoulders hey. moving. Oh, Jesus. Shoulders. Uh, <laughs> lean uh, I'm about to be in your music video. Lean uh, with. Uh, lean <laughs> with. <laughs> well, I can't dance. I got my father's knees. But ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Black Top Conversation. And tonight's conversation is about exes. Oh, no. Yeah. And we ain't got no Case wife. of the ex. Let me ask you a question, Miss Latrice. Uh -huh. Are you friends with any of your exes still today? Or are you the type to be like, look, we ain't You know what? It. I'm actually not. But I'm friends with guys that I dated. Okay. If that counts or anything. But not like official exes, no. Okay. I'm not. All right, cool. She cut you off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Completely. Okay, cool, cool. Well, tonight's conversation is uh, what are some boundaries that should be established if you're dating someone who is friends with their ex. As a woman, you know, y'all, you know, y'all dating a man and the man says, you know, this is my homegirl right here, but come to find out, it's really his ex-girlfriend, you know. But, you know, he says, hey, babe, don't worry, you know, we're just friends, we hang out. And, and this is based on a true story, by the way, but... <laughs> But um, I figured it was some truth behind it. Yeah, as as a woman, how, how would you feel about? Well, first of all, how would you feel about him being friends with an ex girlfriend? Let's let's start with Brickell. Roll my neck on. <laughs> <laughs> how would you um, feel about that? I would have one question to start. Do they got a child together? If the answer is no, then she got to go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if the answer is no, then she, she got, got to go. go. Yeah, I don't like know with that one, to be fair. Okay. Yeah. So no exes allowed at all, mm, pretty much. Gosh. What about you, Milan? I feel like this is about to be the wild card <laughs> answer right here. And I always am. <laughs> so um, I'm friends with my exes. Mm, okay. I don't have no beef with them mm -hmm. at all. Like, I'm cool with all my exes. Mm. Um, so it's kind of hypocritical for me to say you can't be friends with your ex or communicate with them and... I, I still speak to mine like if they text me they might tell me happy birthday or I might see you in the street and I hold a conversation like I'm not like that type of person Word. well that's nice so, I mean yeah. I don't have anything against mine I'm just you're an ex <laughs> <laughs> like I, one of my exes Nothing. I used to talk to like almost every day and he would tell me about his new relationship he knew about mine he, we were like really tight yes that's good so I think that's rare I it is very rare. Milan is one of the only humans in the room. Okay. <laughs> Straight <laughs> human. <laughs> She's realistic. Straight up. So do you would you ever find it comfortable to like if let's say you're going through a relationship issue and you confided in that friend, do you think that's allowed? Because that person Ooh. is an ex, and you're going, mm. this is just the person you talk to. Hey, happy birthday. Um, mm. uh, I have. Mm. And I have because he he's dated me. He knows me. He knows how I am. So he gives me that perspective from his end, um, basically on how I am that I don't see. So they might be saying the same thing, and I don't understand. So I'm telling you what he's saying, and he was like, "Okay, remember this. This is exactly that time. This is exactly what you did." You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, I have. I mean, doesn't hurt or do anything because it's not like I'm going back to that person. It's just like, you know me, he know me. Like, okay. give me some insight. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. He might actually, I like it. He very might actually know you better than a new guy. That's very true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. What about you, Worldwide? Do you, do you keep in kind, like, you know, how, how does that go? And do you cut off your, your significant other from... Contacting or being in communication, being friends with their ex. How how you go about it? Like, I you... would, but most people aren't built like that. So mm -hmm. it's not when you're in a relationship. A lot of times, it's not about what you like or what you accept. If you know your person that you are with can't tolerate it, they struggle with that. Mm -hmm. That's a weakness of theirs. Then I I don't because I know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like um. Now we both are happy go lucky like myself. Both don't mind because most of my exes we we didn't have bad breakups nobody cheated on nobody right. nobody just well, no. it was like good people <laughs> <laughs> just because you're a good person I'm a good person don't make me make for each other you know what yeah, I'm saying so true. a lot that's of times true. when you go your separate ways it's not always on bad terms mm -hmm. but your current girlfriend or wife or whatever don't want to hear that shit they don't care how great it was when you were with them they don't care how good the cabbage was she made <laughs> she don't care about none of that stuff wink wink 
some good ass cabbage <laughs> to go. But anyway, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants to hear that because a lot of times people got insecurities. Mm -hmm. So if you know that about your, your person you're dating, just don't do it. Just leave it alone. Yeah, mm. that's true. You know. Yeah. Hmm. So what, what if your ex invited you to their wedding? What's the colors? I'm coming. We're, we're you will go. Coming. You will mm -hmm. definitely come. Mm -hmm. What about you, LaShawn? Would you go? No. <laughs> It, it just wouldn't be good. Yeah, no. I mean, I, we wouldn't even. I wouldn't even be in a position for an ex to ask me anyway. Yeah, it depends on so, who it was. Well, I'm a DJ, so I'm trying to DJ. <laughs> party. Right, trying to get the I'm gonna get paid too, so your your man gonna be paying yeah. for this. I don't know. Uh, one seventy five. <laughs> 175 an that hour would be kind of weird because what if, what if it was a business thing like hey LaShawn I want you to come and sing in my wedding yeah that's weird I would do it then yeah really yeah you would do it I'm gonna go do my thing and yeah leave. that's true yeah, she can get paid that's true so, yeah. I'm she, not gonna stay around her that's dress true. gonna be better than the bride she's gonna, <laughs> right? she gonna kill him you know what now that I think about it it does seem kind of I take my answer back I wouldn't go because then that makes it look like I'm, I'm like lingering and I'm thirsty. Mm. And so, you know you're the gossip of conversation. Oh there yeah, amongst yeah. certain people. Yeah, what's she people. doing here? Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah, that does seem yeah. Yeah. So I have a, a question. What if uh, you meet the ex and the ex be like, oh yeah, you're cute. Run. <laughs> like uh, you don't really know this person, and uh, you should run. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking. Um, like, huh. I don't think I've had that situation happen, but if I did, I would want to know more. Tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have some girl talk. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I haven't had that situation, but I definitely want to sit down and let's talk about it. What do you mean? What mm -hmm. happened? Let me so know. So you mean like the ex come to you and, and so your ex, like one of your friends come and try to holler at your ex? Like or the ex trying to holler at your friend. Like I'm, I'm with the guy, and he's cool with the ex. Your ex. He's cool with your ex. No, he's, he's cool with his ex. He's cool with his ex. Okay. His okay. ex is okay. like, girl, run. Oh, she's telling you. To, to, oh, she. Oh, yeah, I had that talk. Oh. I had that talk. Yeah, I had that talk before. Wait, a girl did that to you? No, <laughs> my girl's ex did that to me. Oh. What? And this is so. Uh, a guy uh, did that? I'm not going to elaborate on the whole conversation, but yeah, I had it before. A guy yeah. did that? Damn. I'm not saying that that was 10 years ago, or four okay. years ago, or three years ago, or yesterday. I'm just going to say it happened before. Yes. Dang. Wow. Really? And what was your response? Well, you know, we got egos. So we like, shit, she, she, she good, bro. She with me, bro. She good, bro. What you talking about, bro? <laughs> That's crazy. Did you tell her after? Yeah. That goes back to the original statement I said. If you know your person cannot handle that, yeah, then, right. then you don't want to tell you that yeah. it never happened. The conversation right, never yeah. happened. We talked. Mm. And we went, I whooped his ass. That's what happened. And that's all. You know, <laughs> you don't really happened. tell her what happened. Because you know, everybody can't handle that. Yeah. Right. Because you don't know what yeah, that person now said. Yeah, because now we'll be wondering what was hold it. Them, wait on you, you know. Mm. That's true. That's interesting. We're well, sensitive, man. Shoot, man, sensitive too. Be you can sit down with all my exes. We are. You can sit down with anybody. Can sit down with. I'm not. I don't have that insecurity issue. I take first of all. I take pride in the women I select. So all my exes. I'm a, when I show them to you, I'm gonna be like, yeah, dog. That used to be that right there. Dog. <laughs> or not just not just looks. Education wise, you know what I'm saying. Like credit wise, these one I pick. I take pride in the women I pick. They met the challenge. As you should. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So why would I have an issue with you talking to or having a conversation with anybody I've been with? If anything, it's like a trophy. Like, yeah, go talk to her. Yeah. No. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. My my cutoff game is me. I just want to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's for the sake of like, I, I just don't want to. I don't want any drama, any issues in yeah. my relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want any. Just move for you to even think for a second that anything further than just hey, how you doing and keeping it moving is going on. And and at the same time, um. If she has a, a great friend, a best friend that happened to be an ex, I mean, cool. I, I'm not going to come in between that. But just understand that between the hours of, mm -hmm. right after them certain hours, yeah. bro, you're going to have to cut that out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, ain't, ain't no call in the house at 11 o'clock because I know what them hours is. Okay? Yeah. All right? <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't, ain't none of that going down. But it's just... It's, I'm 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 very stern in setting some boundaries for not to say I'm if you have a male friend or whatever the case may be I'm gonna be like well who is that but 
it's just a certain respect for your relationship yeah. and for the man that you with that yeah I, I, I don't need you sitting here and relying on your ex as your first source for something that's wrong agree or you're going through something and you call him but here that's i am the whole mm-hmm. time like no yeah. i live with you yeah. you know what i'm saying how can y'all build if you're going outside the, the circle of growth right it, it just don't make no sense and then some some exes kind of linger around because they're like yeah you know we'll we be friends and then as soon as i mess up, Scoop up so uh let's go out to dinner you know what i'm saying like nah uh-uh. I'm, I'm good brother i'm all right <laughs> we straight but i mean okay that's interesting i just thought i asked that man because you know some people really um take into effect that uh either they want all of you or none at all and they don't want nobody that used to have you to be around so yeah. Have you ain't got no kids with them? I like to see uh oh, working with them? Couples that, that go out or like say like you and your couple go out you and your your, your significant other go out with your ex and they significant other. Like, you know, I say I say that all the time, or like I have a bus trip going that. on and I might invite my ex and her new guy, you know what I'm saying? It's a bus trip. Man. They paying me, I make money off the trip, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's right. just like but if my thing is, if you're comfortable with the decision that you made, mm-hmm. yeah. Like if you married somebody else, like you move on with your life. Don't marry anybody if you're not comfortable in any anybody else's space. Agree. Yeah. Like it's a decision you made amongst God. You know what I'm saying? Like why yeah. does anybody else matter at any time? That's true. You weren't ready to get married. Mm, yeah, I feel like some guys just be asking. T- people to get married and don't even be in a position to even fully commit to people i can i can i'm not even go down that that road but <laughs> i definitely know some some people who ask somebody to get married but only for their gain and not necessarily for the relationship mm-hmm. so yeah, sometimes it's one side of vision so in the moment of yeah, hurt it's crazy it's hard out here in these streets. <laughs> yeah. Well, shout out to that. Well, we got some answers on our uh, Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. And again, the question is, uh, would you go to your ex's wedding? Hmm. Let's see what our, our listeners, our, our fans and followers had to say. Uh, shout out to uh, Gerald Blackman, who said, sure, if we're friends. Okay. Shout out to Tinker. For raw, I don't know how you can. All right. We ain't going to go to that. Mm-hmm. But she says, yes, she would go and bring a gift and enjoy myself. Would you? Would y'all bring a gift to the wedding? Yeah, they got open bar. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would do like a wedding crashers type thing. <laughs> ah, you be there pimping. I I'll go there and turn up and be like, yeah, well, what a bar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna act up. <laughs> Will you say your single cousins was sitting there? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that bar one. I want. I want that real tall one right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> But you know what though? That's kind of dangerous territory because you know you gonna get jumped. Yeah. You get jumped. No axe. Is anyone here? <laughs> we should not see them married. I'm stand up. No. Yeah. <laughs> stand up and walk out and be like, "Oh, don't mind me." <laughs> Let me ask you this, okay? So oh. <clears throat> your significant other is friends with the ex, and you walk in from work. Him and the ex are in the living room nope. alone. Nope. Do you get upset? Do you like, man, it's cross the line, or do you just ignore it a little bit? If you were in that situation, go ahead. I'm gonna walk out and try again. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> Maybe I walked into the wrong place. Something. Like, okay, nope, this isn't right. Go back out. Lock. Unlock the door again. <laughs> like, oh, Come back okay, in. Well, I am at the right house, and then I'm gonna turn up. Okay. I am at the right house. <laughs> it, it depends what their body language is saying as well. Like if they look suspicious. If they're just sitting there and it just looks casual, I'll just be like, "What's going on?" <laughs> just simple, like what's going on? Right. Like, because nothing's really happening, you know? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then that would be it, really. I wouldn't really mind that much. Hmm. But that's just that moment. What if it was more than that moment? Mm. That's what you saw. But you in my house. I don't trust myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. I'm not a turn up person. I'm really not. You don't seem like it. I'm really not. I'm super chill, but I sometimes just don't trust myself because I can just like tick. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Aries. But I don't usually though. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, I've been that other person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. It wasn't a good situation. Dang. Always a light skin. Well, what would you do though? Would you would you go off? Would you? No, I've like I've he's actually well not him now, but I've actually had an ex walk in on me and an ex. Like we was literally sitting. Oh on the my couch. goodness. <laughs> yeah. What? <It's> crazy. <laughs> Like, I left my door unlocked. I, I don't know why I did that. That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, actually, word. guys, I've got a story for you. Uh-oh. Oh, a story. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, while we're on this topic, I can <laughs> generally say, honestly, this I did not make this up. This is true. It happened to me. Mm-hmm. I have been that girl that someone walked in on, and I had no idea this guy was in a full-time relationship. Oh, man. So, and he was telling me it was the ex, but then after I realized that she was, no, they weren't the ex, they were actually together. Mm. And yeah, I got stabbed. <gasps> what? Are you serious? I mean, okay, I'm a bit dramatic, but <laughs> she got, <laughs> wait, she got, no, she literally, she literally got a knife from the drawer. I jumped up. I'm like behind the chair, the sofa, we call it Seti, and I'm like, like behind the chair. She gets a knife from the drawer, and I'm like trying to like duck. Wait, <laughs> she throws it at me, and then she just like throws it at me, and like the point, the sharp bit, like got me in my like hip. Oh man. Yeah, no. so I didn't like, she didn't stab me, but like it got, it jumped me, like it got me. Dang. And then like she got scissors. What? She cut Wait, up, but- <laughs> She got scissors, she cut up all my clothes. I was there for the weekend, so I had a bag. She got clothes. Because at this point, I'm scared for my life. And she got scissors, she got my clothes, she cut them all up. And like, the guy, is just, was the guy is just standing there doing oh. nothing. Oh, no. And I'm just there like, <sighs> like, I just didn't know what to do because I'm in their house like, and it was in a flat. So Wait. I've got to like, it's not like I can just run out the house. I have to like, go through a whole building and oh, I was really scared okay. and then she cut my clothes up she threw all my clothes out the out the oh, window no. so they dropped down to the floor and he did nothing <laughs> and he just stood there just like so like, how just did, didn't he didn't know what to do was she not supposed and then to be she home? got my hair oh no I had a wig on <laughs> 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 that came off like she got my hair at that point that came off and because I was so scared I just let her have it, and I just ran for the door and ran and left. That's crazy. So now you're yeah. you clothless, no hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to go to a, um, a walk-in clinic because I was so like scared. I had to go. Like, there was a walk-in clinic like wow. close by. I went in and I, they got a plaster. I was really dramatic, to be fair, but it really hurt. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that was oh crazy. God. So when she walked in, did was this wasn't an act, was it? Or was it was it like a moment of y'all being in? So intimate, when or? she walked in, it was like six thirty in the morning. Oh. Um, she walked in. I was actually on the sofa, and he slept in the bed because he did because it, it was our first time meeting each other. Okay. He wanted to be a gentleman and not like, you know, give me my privacy. So he was like, I'll take the bed. You can have the sofa. And I was like, well. okay, cool. I thought, oh, that's really sweet. Like, he's not like putting pressure Wait, on me or anything. That's backwards. I mean, <laughs> like, no, yeah, I like... Supposed to give you the bed. It was a, it was, no, 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 no. No, it was no. Because if you would have been in that bed, I was, you, you would have got cut for real. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, yeah, true. that's true. That's good looking And the out. thing is as well, like, I was... 19 yeah. you know i was quite young so i was a bit naive as well i was really naive at that point and um yeah like he gave he said, you can have this um this, i'll have the bed you have the sofa yeah. now that i think about that like <laughs> yeah i should have yeah but um <laughs> but then like all i heard in the morning was dum, 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 on the door why is the door locked blah 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 open the door and then he comes in the living room. I remember room. them days, like, boy. Just stay here. <laughs> he was like, just stay here and just be quiet. And I'm like, huh, what's going on? Like, he woke me out my sleep to say, just stay here, just be quiet. So I'm like, what's going on? Like, I'm just waking up. And then I just hear like a woman, like, why was the door locked? What you hiding? What's going on? And they're like arguing. And then I just hear the door open, like, boom. 
I'm lying down on the sofa. I'm still trying to wake up. Um, and I'm just like, what is going on? And then all I see this woman do, no talking. She just goes like to the drawer rhino. and gets a knife. So I've jumped out the, 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 the chair and I've just ran behind the sofa. I don't know what to do. Like, what's going on? And then she just like, she mm. just, yeah. Wow. That's great. Yeah. That was in the States or that was over there? No, that was in England. That was, that was in London. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So they really I mean, but she didn't catch you in the act of nothing. You no, it wasn't doing. Oh, it was just no, yeah. like nothing. But it, it don't matter. Y'all, for y'all listening at home, fellas, you want to understand the rage <laughs> of this woman, go to her Instagram page. <laughs> she was like, you beautiful, at Papa. <laughs> Lashana Latrice. And you will understand why knives was flying. <laughs> All over. This thing was laying on the couch. Matter of fact, she got a couch picture on here. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> you see this picture laying, laying down on the couch. <laughs> it's gonna be some problems. Some knives is gonna be thrown. Yeah. Listen to me. Knives, chainsaws, <laughs> lawnmowers. So, did you ever talk to him again? Oh, well, he tried to explain himself after. He was like, that's my crazy ex. She's still got the key to the house. She wants to get back with me, blah, blah, blah. Like, that was the excuse I that's was getting. Why. Like, it was crazy. I was just so, I like, mean, like, he you was did nothing persistent. Like, he, like, after a while, became a little bit obsessed, trying to get in contact with me, trying to reach different people, trying to get in contact with me. I was just having none of it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so glad he didn't know where I lived. Yeah. Like, wow. oh, my God. That's crazy. Yeah, that's been, like, a, one of the craziest things I've ever experienced in a relationship. One of them. Wow. Anyway, but, yeah. That's crazy. Wow. I'm glad you survived. Luckily, you don't live here. <laughs> right. Luckily, she don't live here in the state. Yeah, that happens right. a lot in the state. Yeah, that's, no, that's pretty yeah. normal over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> That's the American way, ladies you and gentlemen. You ever see Baby Boy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a regular American story. Pretty much. Pretty much. Wow. Thank you so much for watching our video. Now, if you don't mind, can you do us one more favor? Hit that subscribe button and also tap that bell notification. That way you're alerted about all of our live content, our live episodes, behind the scenes information, also live interviews with some of your favorite guests, and plus many more right here on Blacktop TV. Also, if you need more information about the show, follow us on Instagram, the Blacktop. That's D-A-B-L-A-C-K-T-O-P, and you know me. Ha! I'm a poet, ain't he, though? I rhyme all the time. And that's about it.